people ask me a lot of personal questions i had to take some out because i was like there's no need for you to know that hi everybody welcome back to my channel so from the jump off you know what to do press that little red button below and subscribe to my channel follow me on all my social medias twitter snapchat and instagram all links below so today let's talk about sex baby let's talk about you and me let's talk about sex ladies and gentlemen one of my favorite subjects as you can see because i'm acting mighty hyped at the moment i asked my instagram and snapchat family to give me some questions questions about my sex life questions about their sex life and just advice in general so here we go my first question is my boyfriend really wants me to ride his face but i'm scared i'm twice the sky size of him and i feel like i might hurt him baby girl get up I know you might feel a bit insecure being larger getting on there you don't want to hurt him for one he knows your size he feels like obviously he can handle your size and he's happy to give you that sexual pleasure in that way I feel like you should take him up on that <laughs> I feel like you should take him up on that because once you get up on there, you're not gonna get. You're not gonna wanna. Get, I can't get my words out. I can't get my words out. You're not gonna wanna get off. <laughs> but I feel like to make yourself feel comfortable, you should take it easy. Test how much you should kind of go down on his face. Just make it as comfortable for you as possible. If you if you at any point feel uncomfortable out there, just get down, and you can do it in so many different ways <laughs> there's so many different ways he can give you that same pleasure without getting on his face do you know what i mean so yeah elaine says give it a try because once you're up there <laughs> yeah it's like nothing else baby <laughs> let me tell ya, like nothing else next question what sort of sex toys do you use in the bedroom if any um i think it depends on the person you're having sex with um for me i'm very much i do like a bit of a whip and a chain a bit of a handcuff those sorts of things are what i would personally lose in the bedroom i know a lot of people bring in vibrators and like all different like food and like all of thatness um which I might try one day, I haven't tried that, but for me it's very much tying up handcuffs, paddles, get that pow, like that's what I like, but I know there's so many different things that you can bring into the bedroom. It's, it's, it's endless of the, the things that you could possibly bring into the bedroom, but for me it's kind of whips and chains. I never brought a vibrator in, maybe that's the next step for me, I don't know. The next question is, in 2018 is being promiscuous okay i think if you're a single male or female of age who wants to explore sex i think do your thing <laughs> do your thing you're an adult and i think you have choices and you have a choice to have sex with one person for the rest of your life or have sex with a number of people as long as you're safe the key fact is you need to be safe when you are having sex you need to use protection you need to make sure the person you're sleeping with is on the same level as you because you don't want to sleep with someone who thinks that they're going to get more off of you like a relationship if they sleep with you it might lead into a relationship no you need to be on the same wavelength as the person you're sleeping with. So if you want to go and experiment and have lots of sex with lots of different people, me personally, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Do you? It's none of my business, to be honest. Do you make yourself happy as long as, long as you're happy? As long as you're happy and safe and of age, do you? <laughs> the next question is, how long should you wait to have sex? 
in a relationship there is no time there's no I can't say yeah it's three days four hours and 24 seconds like for me it's down to the individuals like sex is very much down to you and what you want to do so if you if you want to have sex after three weeks do so if you want to have sex after two days do so it's down to you don't let anybody's judgment or influences change what you want to do at the end of the day it's only two of you in the bedroom or three or four whatever you want to do <coughs> in the bedroom so it's down to you boo down to you whatever makes you comfortable next question i'm with a guy who really wants me to suck his dick aka give him a blowjob but i'm not down for it what should i do don't do it then <laughs> don't do it then if you don't want to suck the d then don't do it like there's nothing worse especially in sex doing something you don't want to do because one you're not going to put any life into it it's going to be the most awfulest probably dick suck he's ever had in his whole entire life because you're not down for it and there's other things that you might be down for so i'm saying tell him that i'm sorry but i'm not comfortable doing it and i don't want to do it is there anything else you want me to do and then have that sort of quick um, conversation because there's nothing worse in doing something in the bedroom that you don't want to do <laughs> let me tell you so just have a conversation have a conversation with him and just say i don't want to do it what else you want like let's talk about this because there's nothing worse like i keep on saying nothing worse <laughs> the next question is how often do you masturbate that's quite a personal question <laughs> it's quite a personal question um not that often to be honest i'm not one to flick the bean all the time i'm just being honest um uh yeah once a week i don't know depends on my mood <laughs> like i'm just not one to 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 masturbate that often i know a lot of people masturbate two three times a day and good on you but i don't have the time for that like i'm tired when i get home for work i just want to watch tv and go to sleep but that's just me um but yeah i think it's down to you whatever makes you happy whenever you want to let off some steam get that stress out have a relaxed moment you know what to do you pull that or flip that and make yourself feel happy my last question is what's my favorite position i've asked this before i'll ask again it's doggy doggy is the position that gives me the most of my life i enjoy it like i said you can look back <laughs> gives me life so yeah i'm just thinking just yeah <laughs> anyway on that note i hope you enjoyed this video it's a little bit risque but you know you know that's me you know i like talking about things that are pushing the boat a bit so yeah hope you have a lovely weekend and i should see you all soon Bye.